All right, this is going to be a much abbreviated version just to give you an example of the sort of quality we would like to see in lunging the horse. As you can see, the horse is tucked up with all the tack. There's one exception here, the lower ring on this surcingle is non-existent, so we've chosen to put the side reins on the billet of the girth, supported by the keeper of the saddle pad. Normally, if there were a lower ring, one would attach the side reins to that. I have just started the horse, let him walk away from me, and he's now in a very good walk, and I'm going to start the work. Tarot, tarot. So I'm going to try and establish contact on the line. That works pretty well. And I am pivoting on my right heel to ensure that I can make a truly round circle. The circle can only be round if two things are done. That is pivoting and getting the horse to take contact on the line. Can ta can ta so I had to use a bit of an encouragement there to get him to move off into the canter. It's a very good canter with good energy. This would be very appropriate for a first level horse and even for warm up for any level horse. And to rot. So I'm using to rot. The voice together with the snake lines on the lunge line to make him listen. And I'm following through with my triangle here, the lunge line in my right hand, the whip in my left hand, and the horse, so to speak, making the short side of the triangle. Now he's in a very active trot, very forward thinking carrying himself appropriately in the outline. He was a little bit low at first, and when he ducks away, I give him a little encouragement with the line to not duck away. Can. -ta. So there I made sure he responded more promptly. I supported my voice aid with the whip, and he responded as I expected. And that was also a better response. I'm quite satisfied with the way he goes. Walk. Walk. Good boy. Ha. Now, because this horse has a habit of actually turning in, I have used a little bit of trickery here to prevent him from turning in. So I walk toward him, and I can keep him on the outside of the circle. And since we're going to the left now, I will be pivoting on my left heel. Turret. And we'll seek to establish a contact on the line. Should the horse take the initiative and canter, and I haven't really asked him to, I'm not worried about that. I'll let him do that. Let him get it a little bit out of his system and then ask him to trot when I feel he's ready to listen. Trot! And there you are, he was indeed ready. So again, I make sure that my encouragement with the whip gets him connected to the line. And that gives me the possibility to ask for a slight bend. 
So we don't recommend to shorten the inside side rein because that could indeed encourage the horse to lean on it. So in this way, I can use the lunge line to give the horse a slight bend on a circle. Of course, that only works if you have established a connection to the line from your hand to the lunging caveston. So when he falls in a little bit, like he did there, I use a big loop rolling toward the horse, like so, and that makes him go out. Also has the effect of making him speed up. So I say, oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, good boy. And there he responded beautifully to my whip. So I have very good rapport with this horse and I'm very pleased with the way he's developing in his work. So, can -ta. Oh, he's getting a little bit lively. Yeah, there we go. And that's quite all right. Ho, 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 ho. Good boy. Toot. As you can see, the side reins are not very tight at all. And they shouldn't be overly tight, because we don't want the horse to be forced into a frame. He's now in very good self-carriage, and I think he's done a good job, and I'm pleased with the way he is going. Walk! Again, a very good response, and I'm going to finish the session right here. Heart. Heart. So when the horse is reluctant to stay on the outside, this is something that can be corrected over time. But it's impossible to correct in just one session. So as I said, you have to use a little bit of trickery in order to get to the horse without the horse stepping to you and then eventually perhaps stepping onto the lunge line. We don't want that to happen. So when we're done, we uh, take the side reins off, we put the whip together, And if the horse had had a hard workout, which this certainly hasn't, we can either hand walk him a little bit to cool him out, or put him to pasture, or put him back into the barn. So, my. Right.